This is the last thing we got. I added this uh, today. So, this is Last of Us Part 1. Let's talk about this. Um, let's give a brief summary of this. This is Sony and Naughty Dog. I don't even know if I want to call it a remake. Let's say remastering. They're remastering, again, The Last of Us. It's now The Last of Us Part 1. And um, this is going to be on PS5 exclusively, I believe. And it's going to be $70 to buy this. This is apparently the definitive Last of Us experience now. Because, let's scroll down really quickly, they made some graphical changes. It appears the site is not loading right now. Ah, oh, here we go. They made some graphical changes, and they apparently changed some of the AI of the game. Here's some examples. So, Last of Us Remastered, which came out in 2014, I think? Um, and this is uh, this one. You can tell there's a there is a difference in the quality that you're seeing better textures just overall there's an improvement here okay so there's some graphical improvements here's joel just showing the difference it's very clear they did some work to make this look nicer for ps5 yeah uh, they there was... certainly they certainly did not a gta remaster collection this right. one they actually did, did some work they to did some work it. correct they did some work and they also said in a video which we're not playing here. They made some improvements to AI, enemy and uh, ally AI, I believe, so that it's uh, more modernized, I think is the the appropriate way to say it. The allies will be smarter in that if an enemy's walking towards them, they'll like recognize the enemy's um, vision range and they'll try to move out of it. And there, there was like, that was just one example. There, there were some improvements there. They did not necessarily change anything with the combat though or the gameplay beyond that to my understanding yeah. nothing else really changed but that was kind of the the thing that they should have changed here because i didn't play this game but from what you've told me and from what i know the combat and gameplay in this game is dated it's a hundred percent dated some people really i think really liked the gameplay of the first game when it came out the first time mm-hmm um i was not one of those people i think it was fun for a while but i got by the end of the game i was tired of it like i was ready to be done with the game when i got to the end like i was just tired of the gameplay at the mm -hmm. end. yeah um but i think some people really liked the gameplay when the first game came out but yeah at this point it's probably dated and as we talked about with the the game awards the year that last of us 2 came out the fact that that game won like the best gameplay award in the action adventure category or whatever category it was was yeah. kind of offensive because that was a joke they hardly changed the game from what i heard i haven't played the second game but from what i heard they hardly changed the gameplay at all between the first and the second game and again in my opinion the first game didn't even have that great a gameplay in the first place and by the time the second game came out it was definitely dated and nothing special yeah but like i mean it's it's naughty dog it's last of us yeah they they get the automatic just it's the critics one. just they, they just explode in their they just explode in their pants whatever naughty like, dog does it doesn't even matter yeah so from this remake i didn't say oh sorry this remaster i didn't say remake because i, I don't think this is a remake really i think um, they're calling i think they are calling it a remake but yeah uh, mm -hmm. yeah it sure and it sure I is maybe to justify the the price tag you have to justify the price tag yeah. so you call it a remake not a remaster otherwise a remaster yep. people would be more upset but people are upset but um, so this remake is not changing any of the gameplay and it removed the multiplayer. There was apparently a multiplayer mode. Yeah, that there was a multiplayer mode in the first game. There were people that enjoyed and now it's gone. I don't know why, but they're doing a standalone, apparently multiplayer game at some point. It'll be its own thing. There'll be a multiplayer. Which will also there. probably cost $70, but you know, yep. we, won't, we won't talk. We won't talk about that right now. <laughs> oh, of course it will. Let's just see. I'm trying to find if there's any other. Oh yeah, there here's some more additions. So uh there's a regular edition that's $70. There is a digital deluxe edition, which is $80. 
Increased crafting speed skill. You An early unlock of the following in-game items. Increased crafting speed skill. Increased healing speed skill. Uh, upgrades. Uh, gameplay modifier for explosive arrows? What the fuck? Wait, what? Speed run mode. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, it's an early unlock, so I'm confused. So you don't unlock speed run mode if you buy the normal edition, yeah, probably until I mean... you finish the game. But if you get this mode, you get the speed run mode early. What? I'm not. I'm not gonna harp on this too hard because some of my like, you know, Bandai Namco loves their they like, do day one DLC like this. These like gameplay enhancement crap. That, they do. So I, I can't harp on this too hard because Bam Bamco does this with like literally every one of their games. I do. And I, I... I like a lot of Bamco's games, so I I. I I don't like this. I don't like that Bamco does it. I don't like it that this that this uh, that they're doing it with this. But I'm not going to be hip hypocritical and harp sure. on it too hard because, again, a lot of my the games that I really like do this same shit. Yep. So uh, yeah, I'm That's just fair. gonna shut my mouth on, on that one. Well, I don't I'm, like it, but whatever. I'm gonna harp on it. I'm gonna harp on it. Here's why: not because of what you just explained. I recall vi vividly that Tales of Arise had a reviewer. I was like, huh, there's some pay to win stuff. You can like get yeah. this deluxe edition and you get a better sword. All right, I'm going to harp on this. Spot. Yeah. I think it was GameSpot. If GameSpot doesn't do the same thing here, I'm going to blow a gasket. I'm going to drive to GameSpot, eat Taco Bell, and explode in their bathroom. Because that is bullshit. That would be bullshit. Yeah. It's so hypocritical to be like, Oh, well, it's a single player pay to win experience for Tales of Arise, so I'm gonna harp on it. And that's stupid. It's so dumb. And you know what? I've I've said before, like, for example, when Genshin had like characters that were way too good, I'm like, yeah, maybe they should nerf the character. And I've I've said that before because I I mean it's a single player game, so on one hand, who cares? But on the other hand, it's like, well, if one game is if one character's super OP. Yeah. What happens if the game developer starts tuning events to that character? I don't want that. So I got a little bit worried. And they didn't do that, so I'm not I'm not so worried about that anymore. They don't do that. But I mean, it also feels like all, you know, to all the uh, so the players that don't have that character, they feel like underpowered. They're like, "Well, I like my team, but like I don't have the super OP character." Sure. So, you know. And th in that specific case, it wasn't like a 5-star character, it was a 4-star character that I was worried about. Oh, okay. But I don't That's... care anymore. Now I don't care. Because I'm like, okay, they're not tuning events to these broken characters, necessarily. They did it once, and they got blowback for it, so they, they stopped. And Tales of Arise got shit on by this one reviewer because of this. So I'm going to shit on this game. And I'm going to shit on GameSpot. If you don't call them out on this, I'm going to be mad. Because you're a reviewer, you need to get your head out of your ass, and you need to start being fa fair to all these other groups. I, I think this is stupid. I, I personally think this kind of thing is just silly. In Tales of Rise, I bought the, you know, the super OP blowjob the edition. The, 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 the ultimate edition. Right. Yeah. And I still haven't finished that game. But, like, I don't, I didn't use any of that stuff. The reason I got it is because, like, I like the costumes, to be fair. The co the, yeah, the and costumes. And I don't, I don't give a shit. Like, I, I want to, the game looked great. So I just wanted to, you know, give a little bit extra for, for a game that looked really great. And I'm, I was really happy about some of the things they did with with improvements so i'm like yeah whatever in this case i'm not gonna i'm not gonna give you anything extra for a digital deluxe edition that frankly just i'm just like this is just silly to me there's nothing in here that that i don't know who who this is gonna excite for a digital deluxe edition and then there's the firefly edition the firefly edition includes the in-game early content as well as a steel book display case of The Last of Us American Dreams comic number one to number four with new cover art for each comic. So you get some some comic books and stuff. Whatever. If you pre-order any of uh, any edition, you'll receive the following in-game items, bonus supplements to your upgrade to upgrade your skill set, and bonus weapon parts to upgrade your arsenal. La 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 la. <clears throat> well, the biggest issue that I know from people regarding this game is it's a $70 remaster. They're calling it a remake. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. 
whatever you want to call it, I don't care. It's a remaster. You're charging $70 for a remaster that you're doing again. It's got nicer graphics. We get it. You didn't change what appeared to be much else. That's that's really substantial. The AI thing, whatever. Yeah. And let's also not forget that, like, and obviously, we know, there are, there are games that are other games that are maybe more guilty of this, Skyrim in particular, yes. but the first game released in 2012, 2013, something like that, it's 2022. First game hasn't even been out for 10 years, and they've re-released it twice already. Yes. Which isn't... Two times isn't... It's it is yes it is like not Honestly, necessarily first, something you expect. But. The first one was even more egregious to me because I'm pretty sure they still charge full price for it, and that was a straight remaster. It was just a port to PS4 because the first one was on PS3. Right. So they and I'm pretty sure they charged sixty dollars for the the PS4 ver the PS4 version of it. It was just a straight port to PS4. Right. So. Um. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not necessarily like one of those people that's like, oh, they've already done it twice in like 10 years. That's a lot. I, I don't give a shit about that. You know stuff. what I think they should have done to make this worth it? What? Put Last they of Us 2 in it as well? Yeah, they should have bundled it with Last of Us 2. Just put them together. Give me the remaster and put Last of Us 2 in it. And then maybe it's worth $70. Otherwise, this by itself, 40, maybe 50. 50 tops. I would say 50 tops. Uh yeah, 50 tops. I think if they bundled this with Last of Us 1 and 2, $70 I think is fair. It's more fair, but did Last of Us 2 come out for PS5? Was that a PS5 game? I'm sure there was a PS4 version. I don't know if there was a Last of Us. I don't know if there was a Last of Us 2 for PS5. So that would mean they'd have to have ported it to PS5, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know that off the top of my head. Maybe they have. Um, um, Wikipedia at least is saying PS4 only, so they could have ported Last of Us 2 to PS5 and bundled them together with this. And that's a lot of work. Oof, that's a lot of work. To... That's tough. That's yeah. tough. But I'm imagining a universe where next year this releases whatever yeah, it does. They, they, they give Last of Us year. 2 the same treat, treatment and release it for $70 again next year. And there's a bundle oh version. God. And there's a bundle version. Oh, there's a God. normal version for PS5 oh, where maybe they say if you got the PS4 version you have a PS5. We'll give it to you for free. We'll do an upgrade for free. But there'll be a PS5 version next year. Maybe next year. Year after. And then they'll be like, hey, we're also going to sell a bundled version. Of this I and that. hate it. I hate it so much because I think you're right. That's why I hate it so yeah, much. Yeah, it's that's like... the business decision. That's the business decision. There, the business decision is <laughs> let's get this out. What if they just oh, cycle through the rest? Of... Yep, <laughs> and they just do it perpetually. Genius. That's big brain yeah. stuff. That's big brain stuff. But I think the business decision is let's release this now. Get our let's collect our seventy. Then when the Last of Us Two comes out. We'll get our 70 from, from people who want it on PS5, and we'll pretend we did some upscaling there. And then they have the multiplayer game for another 70. And then they have a multiplayer game, and they up. say, hey, but you can have all three bundled together, and we'll charge you $100 for that. Um, In case you didn't get it, the Last of Us Part 1 for PS5, or you want it, whatever. That's the, that's the big brain play. And while Neil was smoking his peyote... He came up upon this idea and he pitched it to Sony and Sony said, that's a great idea, Neil. Like, let's let's do that. I don't really want to do any work for the next like few years. Why don't we just like remaster and re-release Last of Us 1, 2, and we'll make it like a multiplayer game on the side, I yeah. guess. Yeah, we'll just do that and we'll just sit here and just. Yeah. He'll need 10 years. He, he needs 10 years. He needs an additional 10 years to think of the next story, which will probably be a revenge story again. Um, That's what he's got. He, he's got 10 years, and he's like, well, how can I make this last? Last of Us remakes, 
Uncharted remakes, smoke and dope. That's mm -hmm. it. That's the cycle. That, that's that's Neil. Neil's living the good life, man. That is a good life, though. To be <laughs> fair, that is a good life. Actually, I'm sure he's really enjoying it. Meanwhile, the rest of us here are like, God, can you just stop, please? Can you, can you make can a we new, just can you make a new game, please? Can you just bundle these together or something? And Sony's like shaking their head. No, mm -mm, can't do that. We can't do that. No, 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 can do. Next year, so we've done it. We've bundled them together for you. It's like fuck <laughs> we you. Bundled, we bundled fuck. them together. Why? <laughs> Damn you, Sony. Ah, oh, just so sick and tired of it. Anyway, any other Last of Us Part One remastering of a remaster, which is now a remake? Mm -hmm. Uh, no. No. I'm, I'm good. I definitely. I mean, I don't have a PS5, but um, I definitely won't be buying it 